Here in DaVinci Resolve, we can affect multiple clips at the same time. Now we've already looked at things like adjustment clips, we've looked at copy and pasting attributes, but we have another way to affect multiple clips at the same time, and that is just by selecting them. So in a previous video, you know that we already used these same clips. We're gonna do it again here. Uh, so for our clip right here, if you remember, we scaled her up right up here in the inspector, and then we copy and pasted that move or we used an adjustment clip. But this time, let's do it a little bit different. I'm gonna select this clip here. I'll shift select or control uh, select our other clip. Now we have both selected head up here to the inspector. And now you can see multiple clips shows up right here. So now if I wanted her zoomed up exactly the same amount, I can just pull her up about 1.4. And guess what? We have affected both of those clips at the same time. All right. As you can see, I'll deselect and then select this one. Inspector 1.45 over here, 1.45. Okay. We can also do this to audio, for example. So if you have like a bunch of maybe sound effects or swooshes or something, or even, even music like we have here, we can affect all of those at once. So I'll select one and shift select the other one. I'll come up to the inspector. We have multiple clips selected, as you can see. And of course, we're in the uh, audio view here. So I can change, say, our volume on both of those, as you can see there uh, in the uh, timeline. Change them both at the same time, just like that. I can pan them, change our pitch, or even put an EQ on both of them. So if I really want to pull out the low end, I can do that there across both of those audio clips. Turn it up. Same for this one here. As you can tell, let me click off of this one, select this one here. As you can see, we have that EQ there. Select this one here. We have the same EQ right there. Okay. So not only can we affect, you know, multiple video clips, we can affect multiple audio clips. And it's not just, you know, it's not just two, right? Uh, we'll go right here. I'll select that one. I'll shift select this one and I'll control select that one here at the end. So we'll leave this one here in the middle blank, right? So we'll have these three clips. And let's just say we want all of these to be transformed some way. So we'll pull the position maybe way over here or something. Um, let's put a rotation like that. All right. Close down the inspector. And then you can see that clip here. Then this clip here. This clip here was unaffected. And then this clip here. But that's not all. Here we have some basic title tools uh, already placed on our timeline. This says my title one. This one says my title two. Go to the inspector. You can see uh, that right there. So let's do the same thing with our title clips. I'll select one. I'll shift select the other one. Now we have multiple titles selected. And if I typed in here, I don't know, hello. then you can see both of those texts have changed to hello. So it says hello for this one and hello for that one. Don't want that control Z. I'm gonna leave it to my title one and my title two. Let's go ahead and change the font for both of these at the same time. Just grab our century Gothic here, right there. Let's go ahead and make them both bold. Check them out. Yep, both of them changed. Of course, we can't really see them very well because they're on sort of light background. So we'll change the color to black and they're both change for us there, change the size for both of them as well. Maybe the tracking a little bit there as well. Maybe put a stroke or a, some sort of a shadow, we'll put a, uh, say red stroke on that. Doesn't look great. I wouldn't actually do this, but as you can see, it carries over to both of our titles there at the same time. And we have, you know, our original text there as well. We could also, of course, change the video portion of that if we wanted to zoom in on both of those or zoom out on both of those. So that is yet another way to affect multiple clips at the same time, just by selecting them and putting whatever transformation in that you want. I could also select several, right click and say remove attributes. I'll just say everything across all those apply. Then as you can see, all of that was removed across all of those clips at the same time. And of course, don't forget your audio. 
it's uh, really helpful, especially when you have a bunch of whooshes or swooshes and things like that. You can just select all of them, you know, really quickly, right? Head to your inspector and then adjust that volume for, uh, you know, all of your, all of your clips all at the uh, same time. All right. So that is affecting multiple clips at the same time here in DaVinci Resolve. Thank you.